बिसमान रखीम अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू एन अदर वीडियो ऑन ओरेकल एपेक्स फीचर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस अबाउट रेस्टफुल सर्विसेज एंड ओरेकल एपेक्स नेम्ड एज ओ आर डी एस एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस दिस सेशन माय वर्जन इज ट्वेंटी ऑफ ओ so if your version is different uh, lower because this is the latest one on apex.oracle.com so if yours is different then please upgrade it or you have to you know uh, map accordingly right so in this i would be discussing about oracle apex and wait let me enable pen okay and i would be discussing oracle ebs because normally if uh, you are using oracle ebs and sometimes you need to share your data or you have to pull data from other companies in your uh, oracle ebs mm, let's say for example if you want to give some access uh, of your data to your suppliers or your customers so this is something uh, it will really help you okay let's move take away from this uh it will be not one session i believe uh, i'm expecting to divide it to three or four different videos or sessions because otherwise it will be very lengthy for you uh so take away from these videos about uh, restful services is concepts about web services and ords implementation so my assumption is after watching these videos it will be 3 or 4 whatever uh, you should be able to implement ords inshallah right let's proceed okay so the way i am uh, planning to divide these videos is a part 1 in part 1 <clears throat> we will discuss about web services uh, apis restful services ords and oracle apex and oracle ebs both together right so this is in this video i will discuss let me take you through to the next uh, part as well in the next part we will be discussing different tools which need to be used for testing uh, then how to enable restful service uh or the structure how it it is there in the oracle apex then we will uh learn how to consume these uh, services right consume means use or call these services okay both internal as well external i i will i will show uh, both of these things okay then in the part 3 uh one is using uh, this uh, ords another way is in within the oracle apex you can directly enable uh, these uh, ords on objects like tables views uh, procedures etc right in that i would be discussing about security as well because we have to secure as well otherwise there is no point to share something over the internet right and in the fourth video um, which if will happen i will try to cover additional point which will not be covered or left or you know missing in my first three parts and answer to the questions well let's say for example under the video is there is any questions so i will compile those questions and i will address in this part 4 okay uh, mo uh, before moving back to part 1 let me show you the ords this is taken from oracle website as it is so what is is oracle rest data services right secure performant https access for your oracle database so they have mentioned different uh features or points about this you can go through this one and in these uh implementation we will be using json uh new standard for uh, integrations or interfaces of data custom services with the uh, sql and pl sql things like that okay so after this then we will move to the next let's discuss the part 1 in this video itself right web services 
what are web services why we need web services right so <clears throat> let me take uh, to you to an example let's say for example here i have my instance which is uh, let's say oracle right this is my oracle aura right uh, we have a client uh, first client let's say he is our customer or supplier or whatever you can name it he is using a platform a like sap for example he is using sap another company we are dealing with them they are using microsoft technology any their erp another one is they are using maybe open source some uh, erp right so things like that now all of these three or more they need access to data which is in our oracle erp or in our database oracle database uh, we have let's say for example we are using linux so even uh, different operating system different um, uh, softwares right so let's say for example we have to give access to this guy this guy and this one what we need to do now we need something as a single source of sharing which should be acceptable or usable for all of these three three are many more or maybe these are thousand or whatever so what we can do now uh, one way is let's say for example like uh, the old fashion we write one api a pl sql code here application programming interface api right okay now for example might be they are good to go with this they need maybe some now uh, first point is how they will connect to our database i mean they are using sap this is using some maybe something else this is using maybe odoo the open source uh, erp we don't know what they are using so the best part we will do we will enable web services over here and we will share the way these can be accessed and we will apply certain security for everyone we will maybe give them accounts or something like that so they will connect to this server and they can pull information or whatever i mean it it is it depends we want to give them pull or we go, they can push as well they can update they can delete whatever i mean it it depends on the uh, level of uh, sharing or integrations right so this is where web services are now common let's say for example there is another thing we have oracle and now we have uh, let's say for example mo mobile applications now one mobile application is android and another is one is ios so they both need to access our data so what we need to do web services so one web service both can access and they can uh, work on it right so this is what web services are now let's say for example this is oracle ebs now let's say for example you want to share customer balances or supplier balances or supplier or customer invoices with your um, companies so web services you can easily play with that so how you will do that one uh, mainly i will discuss with in the security but ideally let's say for example this is your ebs this is your apex apex and ebs will talk to each other locally using db links then here you will create web service so a layer of security will also be there you will only give access to here the user whatever exactly you want to do and then this can be exposed to the public right this is these are called web services api as i mentioned this application programming interface so these are good if you are working let's say for example within oracle ebs and from one module to another module you have to you know do integration so api is good enough you can transfer data you can but that is something if 
everything is same let's say it's the same database and you know uh, or you have to use that oracle api itself to insert data to api but here our things are different maybe there will be another company in the future we don't know what they are going to use but this uh, standard best practices or commonly used protocols or web services which are uh, i believe java based so they can access straightforward they will not bother you even that's their headache <coughs> sorry at the same time with these videos you can also learn let's say for example you have a partner over here and you, they have a web services and you want to get access to that data for your information or reporting or whatever so even you can get information from the other instances as well it's not only you will give access to someone else okay restful services uh, these are the web services we will be uh, using uh, during these sessions and in oracle these are called as oracle rest data services right okay oracle apex and oracle ebs so normally what companies they do or uh, they will be happy with doing it so let's say for example they have oracle ebs and oracle ebs session instance sorry so <clears throat> let's say this is my ebs here we have apex and here we have clients suppliers or whoever it is or maybe mobile apps right whatever so what we will do we will do here connectivity between these two and from here using ORDS we will give this access or allow access with this or with these or whatever or someone else as well so it will be a very easy straightforward um, and just I mean um, without any uh, trouble to you and available 24 by 7 right so these are the requirements of normally oracle ebs uh, team uh, so if i go next here we, we just discussed over there and let me just give a flavor of uh, the url which we will be discussing later since it is a slide is already there so this is how ORDS path will be there and this we will have a server URL up to uh, this it is apex but from here from this HR and this this is our ORDS right ORDS right so in this we have a, a URI a template and bind variables we'll discuss these in detail and then we will be using uh, browser to access the information uh, we will use PL SQL we'll use Oracle Apex we will use Postman we'll use Firefox so I will show all, all of these one by one and I think we will not move uh, to the instance today inshallah in the next video uh, which I will be uploading uh, so in that we will be going into that detail uh, keep in touch and please keep visiting thank you very much and Allah Hafiz